Uh, Big Ten title game fever is heating up. As you said, the teams are in town. Their huge fan bases are roaming the streets of Indianapolis as we speak. Oh, yeah, baby, it is on. And as you might expect, in the home of the Indianapolis 500, how about an Indy car leading the Penn State team buses to the hotel? James Franklin and company arrived here just before 2 o'clock this afternoon. The players, after they got off the bus, walked through the lobby where about two dozen Penn State fans welcomed them to Indianapolis. And let me tell you something, the Penn State faithful can't wait for this game to kick off tomorrow night. After going 2-2 two and two to start the season and the way this team has rallied, it's great to see. We had a nine-hour drive this morning. We left at 3.30. Nine-hour drive, but it's going to be well worth it because we're going to bring home the championship to PA. Certainly when Franklin came in and said dominate the state and with his energy, you know, we all felt that. Um, but we felt like now it's a little bit ahead of schedule, and so we're thrilled to death to be here. Uh, the field inside Lucas Oil Stadium is set, ready to go. James Franklin got a chance to check it out before he met with the media this afternoon. We'll have more and hear from Franklin coming up later in sports on News 8 at 6. We are live with the Nittany Lions at the Big Ten title game in Indianapolis. Pat Principe, News 8. Fantastic. Thank you, Prince. And for those of you not going to the game, keep it right here on WGAL for pregame coverage. Our championship special Lions Roar begins at 7 tomorrow night before kickoff just after 8. News 8's Pat Principe is going to be live again from Indianapolis reporting on the pregame festivities in Indy. Next up.